There are people who love Austin and know what they're getting, and then I think they're surprised, but then they're always dragging people along who maybe are like, really, am I gonna go see Jane Austen with you? I have to, because I'm married to you. And then they show up and, like, oh wow, this is kind of great. Eric had this brilliant but complicated idea of everything being on wheels. In rehearsal, we didn't have anything on wheels except I think one office chair. When you don't have a ton of money, you're sort of rehearsing with things that you're pretending. We carried stuff around and imagined what it would be like and then when we got into tech, we finally started to figure out all that stuff. I could not bear to have you think me impertinent. I would rather anything in the world than be thought impertinent by a person like you. It afforded the opportunity to really, in a very cinematic way, give everybody a piece of the action and a different view so that sometimes you get Eleanor, sometimes you get Eleanor, sometimes you get Edward, that kind of thing, and, and to keep it moving. And also sometimes have movement happen in these awkward pauses where they're so nervous they can't talk to each other. Tea? Dearest Miss Dashwood, can I trust you? Just as an observer, I remember this feeling that there's something about the way everything moves and the motion and the momentum between scenes that is very much akin to like the sensations you get reading a, a large sweeping novel. I think the exciting thing depicting Eleanor is the sort of tension between bodies, between men and also between women, which you'll see in our scene. Good heavens! Have you an understanding with with Mr. Robert Ferris. No, I never saw him in my life. But I am engaged to his eldest brother. There are a couple of Jane Austen societies in New York City, and they come with trepidation because they've heard about the wheels and, you know, kind of some of the crazy stuff that goes on. And they love it. And I think part of that is that there's so much humor in it, and Jane Austen often doesn't get credit for being such a great wit and humorous. In the Austen novels, there are some really eccentric figures, very eccentric characters. I assure you, I am not mistaken about the name of the man on whom all my happiness depends. Mr. Edward. different than what you're going to get at the movies or on television, and it should be. It's nice to hear people leave and say, that's, that's why I love theater. That to me is the biggest compliment, when somehow they love this form of storytelling again. That's really great. It's a really fun thing to be a part of.